I think about before we were vegan. I think like most of us probably were encouraged by documentaries, maybe, maybe videos online, maybe studies. But I think it wasn't like an, an overload of information that got us there. I think of, often it's the, the subtleties in what we hear or what we see that encourage us to change. Just, just the most obvious stuff, not the, the complexities of science that encourages us. It's sometimes the most basic stuff. And so people will often justify things by saying, well, you know, humane slaughter is a, a great example, right? Well, you know, I think it's okay to kill an animal if it's done in a humane way. And so and we, we could say, well, you know what, I, that's not true because no, an animal doesn't have to die. And I think it's cruel then to do that. But maybe a more effective thing to say would be like, well, what does humane mean to you? Because again, we use, we use these terms and these words and we use them so broadly. And we have to get people to define what they mean by these words. So ask, well, what does the word humane mean to you? And then they'll probably say something like, oh, you know, killing the animal without pain or something. And you say, well, what about like an objective form, like an objective definition? You know, what would the synonyms be? What would, you know, if we opened a thesaurus and we looked for the word humane, what other words would be there alongside it? Okay, well, compassion, benevolence are, of course, in there. And you go, okay, well, then, you know, can we kill an animal in a compassionate or benevolent way if they don't have to die and if, and if they don't want to die? Uh, I don't think anyone could, could say that we could do that compassionately. And you go, well, if it can't be compassionate, can it be humane? And, it, and, it, and it's this kind of like cycle of questioning that hopefully you get someone to be like, well, well, no. But then they've realized that within themselves. And what I really like about this is people can't get angry at you then, right? Because you're, you're merely asking them and they're answering how they feel. Well, they can't get angry at you because they've expressed how they feel. And I think a lot of the time that anger and frustration people feel at vegans is when they feel like they're being judged firstly. And also when, they're, when they feel like they're being told what to do, and they're being told that they're bad people, or told that they're living in an immoral way. But the, the beauty of asking someone questions is we never actually tell them how we feel. Now, of course, in some conversations, we're going to express ourselves a little bit, and it's okay to, to say something that's a little bit more factual based or, or, or fact based. But as asking as many questions as possible, just it leads people to get into their conclusion in a way that they don't feel judged in doing so because it's just something they've learned within themselves. And another example you, you could say is, you know, are you against animal cruelty? You know, everyone's going to say, of course I'm against animal cruelty. Okay, well, we'll define what, what cruelty means. You know, I think most people say, well, it, you know, it's inflicting harm unnecessarily. You know, that word unnecessarily is important. And you go, well, well is it necessary for us to, to kill animals and slaughter houses and eat them? I think we can all agree that it isn't. Most people will say no. Some people might say, yeah, protein or iron. And then you say, well, can you get protein from plants? And nearly everyone's going to say yes. And you go, well, if it's not a necessity then, then surely to take the life of an animal for food is unnecessary, as you've stipulated, which therefore in your vision of the word cruelty means that it is an act of cruelty, which means that you're against animal cruelty, but by your own admission, you perpetuate systems that you define as being cruel to animals. And, and, and that's a... Obviously, some people are like, oh yeah, of course, right, because that's my definition of cruelty and you've just applied that back to me.